So for the hydroponic fruit trees, for the young ones, the startlings, I'd grow them in here, not in the bigger area. And it's kind of pretty rough and coarse, this system, and it's time to revamp it and make it a little more nicer. But this is what I had available for cheap or secondhand. You can see they're four foot by eight foot flood trays. Um, I don't actually flood them. There's just irrigation uh, emitters and, and two of them in each pot in case one fails. And no, you're not looking at marijuana. They're actually peach trees. Um, I'm going to, what I did is I, I took the peach pits from the fruit trees and I um, put them in a Ziploc baggie with a little bit of moist soil, not wet soil. I put them in the fridge for a multitude of months, several months, three, four, five, six months until they started uh, sprouting in the bag. If the fridge was really cold, like this year, because it was set a little lower, they never actually sprouted, so I had to take them out. I just took them out after six months. After having that chill, they sprouted really good. When I tried to sprout the peach seedlings uh, by themselves in the hydroponic system the year, years ago, they all just rotted. So doing it in the fridge with a, a moist, I used a soilless mix, and um, but not wet wet i mean you you couldn't squeeze out the water but there was a little bit of moisture that that was good enough anyways they um the this well let me just pause for a minute I, I think i'll go ahead and continue with the process of starting the seeds after the the seeds were in the refrigerator getting a cold chill for several months they went into here this is southern california we have fairly warm winter so they sprouted right up around christmas it was fine i planted them what i did is i took out the bags and i put the seeds into a five gallon pot maybe 20 seeds or so i would put in here and then i let them grow out till they were maybe oh maybe about that tall or a little bigger at that point, I took the, the whole mix of plants out and separated them and uh, transplanted them to individual five-gallon pots. It's uh, June, and these were seeds uh, six months ago. So you can see how much growth, two and a half feet of growth on these. Some are bigger. Um, then they were, well, I tried to put them in the one-gallon pots, but it it's, might as well wait till they're about 12 inches tall or so and then go directly from the clump of trees separating them right into a five gallon pot they'll sit in here till they're maybe about three foot tall and at that point i put them into a, a 15 gallon pot and then say around august i would uh, use these just for root stocks and uh, graft them using a, a tea bud kind of a, a bud graft um, and then watch them make sure they take if they don't take you can um graft them when they're dormant in the wind winter with some cyan wood anyways it's taken about three years to get the first samples of peaches so it's pretty exciting because it said about 80 percent less water that means eight trees for the water of one and it's about the same with the fertilizer about eight you know you get you can fertilize about eight trees with a fertilizer for one because all all the wastewater goes into under here, there's some tanks where the, the return lines are. Anyways, I think that kind of wraps it up. I'll see what I, uh, I did. I wanted to point out that I also did this experiment, this experiment with uh, some citrus. So as here, you'll see all these pots, is oh, about 20 pots or so of citrus. Um, I took seeds out of a Valencia orange about four years ago. I grew them for about three years that's why the stems are pretty thick and then i grafted them so all the tops you see are grafts i did last oh maybe maybe nine months ago again when you do all the the grafts you need to keep removing all the sucker wood from the root stock to um and just kind of keep an eye on them so hydroponically i were growing citrus of uh, just about every kind imaginable and um there's also pluots peaches, nectarines, and um, uh, several different varieties to see how they do. So um, the, I think the results are going to be good. The only thing is I need the money and the time to, to make bigger setups for all these trees. They're, too, they're much too big, most of them. Let's, uh, 
most of the orchard now is actually in the ground. In fact, everything that's really producing is in the ground, but I've had so many, so much trouble with the soil and parts of the property. It's really pushed me to experiment with the hydroponics and also for the public um, to be able to grow all these things. So people can grow fruits locally, even profitably for money. Actually, I could see apples too on the apple trees are in the hydroponic setting. The tin cans or the aluminum cans are actually to weight down branches so they'd be more inclined to bear fruit. But that hasn't worked so well because the wind's knocked the cans down. I have to do something else. So those weedy looking things in the boxes of the, the 24 inch boxes with the peach trees, well, they're actually carnations. I, the seeds blew into some of the boxes a few years ago and I thought it was kind of cool to have the peach trees with the carnations in there. It makes it pretty in the spring, but it looks like they're just about done. Now, if I could just get the hydroponic trees to produce like crazy, like that tree right in the picture, it's just absolutely loaded with fruit. Then we'd really be on to something.